What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 9 in the math 3 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Martha can paint a room in 2 hours, and Jamie can paint the same room in 6 hours, so we're trying to figure out how long to the nearest tenth of an hour it's going to take them to paint the room together. Now this question actually deals with proportions in admittedly a very tricky way, but we can use some of the same ideas of proportions and number tables to figure this out relatively easily, but it will involve some adding fractions. So, let's go ahead and start with Martha. If we're looking for how much of a room she can paint in a certain amount of time, the um, problem tells us that she can paint one room in two hours, but in order to do a question like this, we need to know how long it's going to take her to paint just one room. Now, I can use proportions, or I can look for a multiplying or dividing pattern here. Um, either way, I'll divide by 2 to get that if Martha can paint one room in two hours, she paints half the room in one hour. Next, we move on to Jamie. And Jamie paints the same room, so it's one room in six hours. But how much can she paint in one hour? Well, you might have already guessed it. Using a similar mathematical process, we get one-sixth. So how much of the room can the two of them paint together in one hour? Well, to do that, we'll need to figure out one-half plus one-sixth. Whenever I add two fractions, my first question is, will my smaller denominator go into my bigger denominator? And if so, how many times? Two will go into six three times. So one half plus one sixth is the same thing as three sixths plus one sixth, which is four sixths, also known as two thirds. And so I need one more number table. And this one's for both of them. If I know that they can paint two-thirds of the room in one hour, I want to know how long it's going to take them to paint the whole room. And at this point, I can set up a proportion with this being my x, what I don't know. And I will go ahead and cross-multiply. One times one is just one. So 2 thirds x equals 1. I can get x by finding 1 divided by 2 thirds. So if I do this in my calculator, 1 divided by 2 thirds gets me 1 and a half. Very anticlimactic answer. They kind of tried to trick you a little bit by saying that you had to find it to the nearest tenth of an hour. They, they tend to be just mean like that sometimes. But anyway, we got our answer. It's one and a half, but we do need to write it in the gridded response. So when it asks for the nearest tenth of an hour, we got one and a half or 1.5, one and five tenths. So to write the answer for this in the gridded response, I need to give my one, my decimal point, and my five their own boxes. I find my 1 underneath where I wrote 1 and bubble it in, my decimal point bubble and bubble that in, and my 5 bubble and bubble that in. And that's how we solve and answer a question like this. 